how to use the set as standard transition function in DaVinci Resolve 17.3.1. On my current edits project timeline, I have two unmodified video clip edits placed next to one another on my project timeline, comprising of a total duration of four seconds. Going to the media pool in my edits window and selecting the icon in the bottom right corner for the thumbnail for each of the two video clips, we can see that the frame rate for both videos is 30. Going to effects library and toolbox, we can find a list of various video transitions under the relevant heading. If I right click on the blur dissolve transition, for example, and choose set as standard transition, this particular filter will be marked with a small red tag to indicate that this will be referred to when applying a transition effect on the project timeline itself. What we must now identify is what sound transition will be applied as we bridge the two clips together. To identify the type of crossfade that applies to your edits, go to Audio Transitions in your Effects Library to find three crossfade options. DB refers to decibels. The more you have, the stronger your sound effect will be. Right click on the audio transition that you wish to use and select Set as Standard Transition. Now if I direct my red playhead to the point between the two video edits on my timeline and right click on this red line, I am presented with a set of transition options for me to add to my video clips. If I select the option for a 30 frame animation, in order to achieve certain transitions, parts of a clip have to be trimmed from unmodified clips that will make up the final transition in your project. I will therefore click Trim Clips. A one second blur dissolve filter is applied to the section where the two video clips join. A crossfade is also applied to the audio, creating a blend effect as one video changes to another. If you select one of the transition edits over your two media files, we can see and modify the properties for these transitions in the inspector window such as the length and your chosen transition effect. If you wish to remove one of the two transitions that you've added, Ensure that these are first unselected. Hold Ctrl or Command if you are a Mac user and press Shift and L to deactivate the linked selection option. Go to select the relevant transition and press Backspace or Delete to remove. The background music to this tutorial is supplied by the proud channel sponsor Audio. A link to the website and a code that can be used to purchase a lifetime supply of music and sound effects at a discounted price can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.